We've been telling you about some of the latest attention-grabbing crazes, obsessions that are out there. You can always rely on the world of food to deliver something mouth-watering. Remember our viral recipe show? We did it last year. We did a baked feta pasta, birria tacos, and spring focaccia bread. Everybody fell in love with this. So some of the many recent food trends that have created a stir on social media are things that I'm obsessed with. And now there's another one. When food blogger Sarah Thomas Drawbaugh posted a video making avocado toast, it went massively viral. On TikTok, 3.6 million views. Yes, but this isn't just any ordinary avocado toast. It has a very unique twist, and we'll find out exactly what that is in a moment when we make it. Please welcome Sarah to our show. Welcome. Okay, so you're a successful food blogger, recipe developer. Did this sensation catch you off guard? It did. So it was interesting because I posted the video and almost immediately I knew there was some magic to it because it started getting a ton of views. Really? Yes, absolutely. But, it was, but it's avocado toast, Sarah. No, this. <laughs> but I mean, you no. figure there's avocado toast everywhere. Yes. But this but hit a nerve. It did. And I think it was a number of things. I think it was the content, the beautiful bread, and, and a the couple secret other ingredient. things that we're okay. not going to talk about just okay. yet. But All right, yeah. let's launch in because we're making it with Sarah. You say start out with some good bread. That's the key. Yeah, so you want to start out with a nice piece of artisan bread. Mm. You can get this at your local bakery. I like using this because it's nice and sturdy, so you can really load up all the good Clearly stuff Clearly, I top. have a bread obsession because I'm eating this while you're talking. <laughs> I love bread. Yeah, and it's sturdy. Mm -hmm. So when you pick it up, everything isn't just going to slide right off the top. Okay. So the perfect way to start was with a nice piece of toast. Got a nice toast. Okay, and you toast it both sides? Yep, pop okay. this right in the toaster. Okay. So you have to make sure it's not too thick or you won't fit it in. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Use Japanese mayo. Yeah, a little Japanese mayonnaise. So mm -hmm. Japanese mayonnaise is great because it's actually used with just the yolks versus the whole egg. Oh, I didn't know that was the difference. So you're gonna do that, nice smear on there. Next, you're gonna take your avocado, mm -hmm. and I like to slice mine nice and thin so it lays nice and flat right on top of that Japanese mayonnaise. Okay. Um, I like to load it up, you can leave it sliced, you can mash it, mm -hmm. whatever your preference is. All right. So we're gonna just put a couple of those slices right on top of the Japanese mayonnaise. So you don't mash up your avocado? I don't, and I gotta tell you, that was one of the biggest comments where people were blown away that some people just eat it sliced. Yeah, I'm blown away. <laughs> I thought it was all, I mean, I make avocado smash for my son, and I did not know that people ate avocado sandwiches with slices, but I love it. I think it looks better. It's so beautiful that way. Okay. I think so too. So then once you have that nice and flat, there comes the secret ingredient. Okay, come on, reveal it, woman. Okay. Come on, come on. All right, all right. <laughs> It's, well, hard-boiled eggs, except there's a fun twist. All right, so you got your eggs. So the twist is you grab a microplane paddle grater, uh -huh. and you're just gonna start gently grating the egg right over the avocado. Looks like it's snowing! I did not, okay. You're gonna say that I must be a terrible cook as much as I cook. I didn't know that you could grate eggs. You, it's so funny. So I was working out one day, I came home, I was gonna make a nutritious lunch, and I saw my microplane grater, and I'm yeah. like, what if this works? And sure enough, it was like fluffy and light. It changed the texture. It was delicious. Does it change the taste of the egg grating it? I think so. Because so, like garlic changes, chopping garlic versus on the microplane, it gives it a different flavor, smashing it. Absolutely, okay. and I've had some people say, this, this is a great is way to get okay. kids to eat the eggs. All right, so then you finish it off with yes. salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. You yeah. drizzle it with sriracha. You got it. I love that. And you also like grating eggs over different dishes. You have this tuna salad here, this pesto, ramen noodles. This is phenomenal. Yeah, and what's so nice about this grated egg is a great way to really add protein into your diet, and it tastes amazing. You're tricking your brain, tricking your kids, tricking everything. <laughs> I, I would love to taste it. Yes. I can't wait. Judge your avocado. <laughs> you did that. That's delicious. That's delicious. That's delicious. It's amazing. Oh my God. Sarah, I will never eat an avocado sandwich toast again if it doesn't have this on. Oh, I love that. No, seriously. That's awesome. It's so good I'm taking another bite. Sarah, <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you. Oh.